Pebble is the leading edge smartwatch on the market. Its lightweight, always on, and long battery life make it the perfect wearable for today's information seeking public. Pebble includes three stock watch faces, which are elegant and provide a diverse look and feel. This watch face is called the Tex Watch. Classic Analog Simplicity, which rounds off the stock faces. These stock faces are nice but lack the information we are accustomed to with our cell phones. Meet Pebble Instant. It's based on the Simplicity stock face and enhances this experience by displaying key information from your cell phone. It's available on the Pebble App Store and requires an Android companion app. The user interface is categorized in rows. Each row displays related information. The first row is the notification row. It's dynamic and displays only when you have a notification on your phone. There are currently 30 plus supported apps with more on the way. This demo shows how a notification flows from the phone to the watch. A new email has been received by the phone. The email notification has been sent from the phone to the watch. The email icon and count are displayed on the watch. The user has dismissed the email notification on the phone. This in turn dismisses the notification on the watch. The second row is called the utility row. It's a user configurable row that can be used to display various information. Notification counts are the default. This displays the number associated with the notification like the number of unread emails, missed phone calls, and etc. Note, some notifications do not have counts and so will not display counts on the watch. More notifications displays a second row of notifications if there are more than five notifications on the first row. This allows for a maximum of 10 notifications to be displayed at one time. There are plans for adding utilities like the currently playing song and artist names, next calendar event, last notification title, and the movie and TV title from XBMC. Inspired by simplicity, the date and time row provides the day of the week, month, and day. Time is in 24 hours. A planned feature is to provide language support for the day of the week and month. The status row provides the status details from the phone and watch. The first set displays the Bluetooth connections between the phone and watch. If the icon is displayed, the watch is connected, and if the icon is not displayed, it's disconnected. The second set shows the phone's ringer mode. The modes are silent, vibrate, and sound. The third set displays the data mode of the phone. It can be either Wi-Fi, mobile, or not connected. The fourth set displays the temperature from openweathermap.org. It uses the location data from the phone. Temperature can be displayed in Celsius or Fahrenheit. The fifth set displays the battery level of the phone. Plus next to the number indicates it's charging. No plus means it's discharging. The level can be displayed in increments of 1 or 10. The last set displays the watch's battery level. This is in increments of 10 determined by the Pebble's firmware. Again, plus means charging and no plus means discharging. Pebble Instant provides many options to its users. Have a look through the settings by opening Pebble Instant and touch the default settings button. For this demo, the watch function settings will be shown. The watch function setting is fourth down in the list. The watch function settings use Pebble's action features like vibration and turning on the backlight. These settings use the action features on an event like receiving a notification or Bluetooth disconnecting. Try it out. You can choose between two color themes. The default is a black background with a white foreground or the more popular option is the white background with a black foreground. Pebble Instant regularly adds new features and bug fixes. Be a part of the community 
and head over to the Google Plus Groups page. Stay up to date with Facebook and Twitter feeds. Thanks for watching and enjoy Pebble